guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing another Sephora work haul. This is going to be my second or third I think it's my third Sephora work haul. So this is a little series that I am going to be having on my channel. I will link previous videos down in the description box below. I hope you guys like seeing videos like this because I think they're really fun to film. And yeah. So the products from Sephora are all going to be color products as well as skincare. I'll go ahead and start with the more cosmetic type products and I'll finish off with skincare since I feel like more people are interested in makeup here on YouTube than they are with skincare. But I love both so I will definitely be including all ranges of beauty in my channel. So the first two items are the new Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows and they come in these little like, well they come with just the shadow and then you can buy these little holders to hold them. Um, they have individual ones, duos, I think they have trios. I don't think they have quads but they might have quads. But you just pop them in here, they are magnetic and then the little shadows, they just they come in just a little shadow. And this one, I can't figure out how to get it out, so I can't even tell you what this eyeshadow is. Um, if I can figure it out, I'll leave it in the description. But it's a purple shadow, it's super pretty. Um, the thing that's really cool about the new Artistry eyeshadows by Makeup Forever is they are like a gel cream formulation, which means that they're very soft to the touch when you feel these eyeshadows. They almost have a little bit of give to them, they're a little bit squishy. They're highly, highly, highly pigmented and blendable. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are very expensive. Uh, I believe they're $22 each, so they are a huge pan though. You do get a lot of products in here, um, but it's definitely, it's definitely expensive. So I got a shimmery kind of metallic purple as well as a brown, a matte brown in here. Um, I think these are really nice colors to have. I know I'll get a lot of use out of this one, and this one will be fun for like a pop of color. I wish I could figure out how to get it out um, and put them in one, because it's kind of annoying that I have like two half empty things here. Another super cool thing about these eyeshadows is you can use them wet or dry and when you use them wet it gives them like an extremely pigmented beautiful like super metallic bright finish um so if you want something that's going to be like in your face crazy you can use these wet just be careful with them because if you apply pressure to them they will crack very easily because they are like a gel cream they're very very soft very fragile um but they are amazing amazing quality I got two mascaras. The first one is a mini Blink Mascara. And Blink Mascaras, this one's the amplified one. There's like a regular one and an amplified one. I believe the amplified one is for more volume. So these Blink Mascaras are actually tubing fiber mascaras. They're really cool because they are gonna be a fiber lash ad like addition mascara. So it is gonna help give you like lots of volume and you're gonna be using fiber. So it's supposed to make your lashes like crazy intense. Um, but these scare the heck out of me. Um, the way that this works is it creates tubes around your eyelashes and then when you take it off you can see like the tubes coming off of your eyelashes and it looks like little hairs and it's so scary because when you take off your makeup it you look at your cotton round and it looks like all your eyelashes came off so I don't like that but <laughs> um, I've only used this at work with the little disposable mascara wands so it'll be different applying it with a real mascara wand it says stop painting your lashes tube them so it's not going to be as harsh on your lashes as like a typical mascara that adheres directly to them and it's supposed to be better for your eyelashes. And then I got another They're Real mascara. This is the full size They're Real from Benefit Cosmetics. I absolutely love this mascara. It is my favorite and I believe it is still Sephora's number one selling mascara. Definitely Benefit's number one selling mascara, but it's a good one. It's really good at volumizing and defining and I just think it's a happy medium between like a good thick clumpy lash and like defined nice like natural looking lashes so I really like this one uh, it is water resistant the biggest complaint I've had clients give me about this is that they don't like that it's so hard to remove since it is water resistant it's not just gonna come off with water in the shower so I would say you need a makeup remover for this I personally like to use waterproof makeup remover with all of my mascaras because I'd rather have like a waterproof mascara or something that holds on really well and doesn't flake throughout the day um, and have to use a makeup remover and then it just comes off easier anyways if you're using a makeup remover. Um, I'm just not, I don't want to mess with my eyes, I don't want to be scrubbing them and like all that jazz so I just like makeup removers in general but if you guys haven't tried this mascara, 
It's the bomb. So I got a NARS paint pot. What are they called? Eye paint. Um, this is in the shade Snake Eyes. And what this is, is their like gel cream eyeliner. So it comes in a little pot like that. And this multi-use NARS eye paint performs as an eyeshadow and an eyeliner with rich, intense color that lasts more than 18 hours. So that's cool. That's a very long time. Who wears makeup for 18 hours? Um, but this one's really interesting. So it's like a really pretty, really dark green. It's more black with green glitter. So I think this is gonna be a fun product to play with. I love gel and cream eyeliners. I use them pretty often. That's what I use on my eyes today. I just find that they give you a lot of control and I like painting on my eyeliner more than just using like a pencil. So I'm excited to try this. I don't know how I feel about like the green flakes in it. Like I think it'll be pretty, but it seems like a deep enough color that it's gonna be more like, oh, it looks black and then up close it looks green. So this might be a cool product for someone who wants to wear green to make their eyes pop, but they don't want anything that's like funky St. Patrick's Day green. Next I got two Gimme Brows and this is a brow product by Benefit. It's a brow volumizing fiber gel. These are really cool because they are like the teeniest, tiniest little wands for your eyebrows, and I really like them because they're the only brow product I've ever seen um, that actually has fibers in it. So this isn't just going to paint on your eyebrow hairs and like make them darker, but it's also gonna make them more voluminous and kind of fill them in a little more because there are fibers in there. And it's just the smallest little wand ever. It's really handy for your eyebrows though because it's so small, so it just, fits in here really well and you don't have to worry about grabbing any like extra hair that you don't want. So these are really nice if you're looking for something it's just going to be like a really quick easy way to fill in your brows or if you want like a setting gel that's going to have a little bit more like volume to it or something. Um, so I really like these. I use them a lot just to set my brows or like I said on a day that I just am not wearing a lot of makeup but I want something to make my brows pop a little bit. And this is the ever so famous, this is the Pore Fashional. It's the Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. It's a primer designed by Benefit. And this stuff is really cool. It's a little dual action primer that's going to help prolong the wear of your makeup and it's going to fill in your fine lines and pores and just make everything look nice and blurred and smoothed over so you have a nice base for your makeup. I'm not someone who has enlarged pores, I don't, notice that I even have pores on my skin so it's really not a problem for me but I do like this product it does make a nice really smooth base a lot of people like using this without um, even wearing makeup on top of it just because it kind of diminishes the appearance of your pores a little bit um, but I'm excited to use it anyways and even though I don't have enlarged pores it's still nice to have a good primer and um, it'll be good for future clients that do have enlarged pores. So this is the Calming Primer by Cover FX, and this is a primer that's great for someone who has sensitive skin or more like irritated skin. Um, I'm not sure like what ingredients are in here that are going to like soothe the skin. Um, it looks like there's some like cucumber and like fruit extracts and things like that that are more like calming ingredients. So this should be good for anyone who has sensitive skin or a more like irritated skin that they just wanna kind of soothe and calm down before they layer makeup on top of their skin. I saw Casey Holmes using this in a video and I was like, oh, Casey uses it, it must be good. And she has rosacea, so again, that's like a perfect example of someone that this would be good for. So I'm very excited to try this out. And this is by Cover FX, which is a more natural line. So they are more like paraben free, sulfate free, I think Think they, they're talc free, they're oil free, so they have a lot of like good ingredients. So I'm excited to try this out. So this is the Rouge Infusion uh, like lip stain. It's by Sephora Collection. This one's in the shade Red, number 10. So these apply really, really smoothly, but they're still kind of transparent, translucent. So they're not super pigmented. They're gonna create a nice little tint on the lips, but you can still kind of see through it. I love the smell of these. They smell kind of like, like a really sweet Kool-Aid or something, but they feel so smooth on the lips. They basically feel like water going on. Like you don't feel like you're putting anything on and they last a really long time. They're not irritating to wear. 
I got a new eyelash curler, which is really cool. This one has really cute little pearls on it. It's like gold and pearly. So this is by Tarte Cosmetics. I've heard really great things about their lash curlers. I've never personally used them before, um, but I'm really excited to try it out. My personal favorite lash curler is the Shiseido one. That one is like so good, but I'm very excited about this. Okay, and then I also got a little solid cleaner. So this is like the solid cleanser for the beauty blender and a little bitty tiny micro mini beauty blender. So this is the new micro mini beauty blender. It's like the smallest thing ever. I can't like, I'm just so amazed at how small this is. So this is the original beauty blender and this is the micro mini one. Like, look how cute. So I'm a huge Beauty Blender fan. I absolutely love blending out my makeup and foundation with the original Beauty Blender. So I'm excited to play with this one. It is gonna get bigger once it's soaked in water, but I kind of am confused why you would need this because the shape of the original Beauty Blender is still tapered. So it still fits underneath the eye. I feel like pretty nicely. Like I don't have a hard time getting in there. So I don't know, I'll, I'm excited to try this out. I just don't know if I feel like it's totally necessary. Then the last kind of like cosmetic item, or this is like a nail item, but this is the Formula X for Sephora, the Delete Nail Polish Remover. So you just remove the cap and then you can just press a cotton round or cotton ball on the top and it's going to dispense the nail polish remover. That way you can remove your makeup with just one hand. And then that's kind of it for the makeup portion of this video. I have some more skincare though. So the first skincare item I have in here is the Sephora Express Cleansing Wipes. And this is just a makeup removing wipe. There are 25 in here. And these ones are for your face, eyes, and lips. And it has Pro Vitamin B5. And they're a perfect cleanse that removes all types of makeup, even long wearing makeup, from face, eyes, and lips without leaving a greasy film. It's rich in pro vitamin B5 to moisturize the skin. These are never supposed to dry out thanks to their unbendable cap. So I guess with the way, I don't know, the way that this is like made, they're never supposed to dry out, which is cool because I feel like every, no, like seriously, every single package of makeup wipes I've ever bought, I always end up drying them out. Either I leave the cap open or it's just crappy packaging, I don't know. So I always end up having to run mine underneath the water to like re-moisten them. But I'm excited to try these ones out and these are $9, that's for it. Okay, this is the new uh, Back to Nurture Replenishment by Philosophy. At last, a tender loving care for skin suffering from unquenchable thirst. In two weeks, you should see that skin is deeply nurtured and replenished and regains its youthful cushion. This is supposed to immediately quench your skin. It's supposed to soothe your skin and make it more supple. When the advertisements came out for this line, the Back to Nature, Back to Nurture, um, by philosophy. They have so many claims. Oh my goodness gracious. They like claim to be like anti-aging and moisturizing and good for people with acneic skin, good for people with sensitive skin. Like, I mean, I don't even remember, but the list was like crazy long of all the things that this product claims to do or all the things that this line claims to do. So it feels like a really light oil, like a dry oil kind of, if you've ever used like oilless oils before. Um, very soft, it feels really good, but you know what, it kind of feels like, like glycerin or like, yeah, it feels like glycerin. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little bit skeptical about this product just because I don't think it's very clear on what it's supposed to do. I've never used it before. It has a lot of ingredients that I have no idea what they are. Um, but yeah, so. I, I don't know. So I got more Murad products. I'm so excited. I love Dr. Murad. Um, I feel like a lot of his products have like really good ingredients in them. Um, not like really healthy ingredients or like natural ingredients, but I just feel like they have like a lot of science behind it and they're very like strong, I guess is what I'm going for. They have very like strong active products that I feel like a lot of people get really good results from, especially their acne line. Um, so this is the Essential C Cleanser by Murad. It's an environmental shield and um, vitamin C helps to lighten, brighten and tighten the skin. So that's exciting. 
And then I got a Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. This has 2% Hydroquinone Skin Lightener. I believe this is the only product at my Sephora that we carry that has Hydroquinone in it, so that's kind of cool. Again, this has a very high quantity of vitamin C, so this is going to brighten those like darker spots from like sunspots or age spots or anything that you're trying to like brighten or lift on the skin. This one is super tiny and cute. It is the Essential C Day Moisture broad spectrum with SPF of 30 PA++++. So it's going to hydrate and protect the skin. And then the last few things in this haul that I think I'm most excited about, these are First Aid Beauty products. If you guys have been following me lately, you know that I am obsessed with First Aid Beauty right now. This is the Facial Radiance Overnight Mask. It's going to brighten, even, brighten an even skin tone and nourish the skin. So it's like a sleep mask. Any sort of like mask or treatment or products that I can leave on my skin overnight I'm like all on board for because I just feel like it like gets deep down in the skin or like even hair masks and like really like does its job um so yeah this is just like a brightening and illuminating Woo! spilling it so this is a brightening and illuminating mask it doesn't smell like anything. Um, First Aid Beauty is awesome for anyone with sensitive skin. So those of you who are my sensitive friends out there, check these guys out. Um, honestly, I don't really understand Radiance products. And I don't know if that's because I don't have like mature, like dull skin. I have like pretty youthful skin, but I have dry skin. So I feel like I should like more illuminating products, but anything that's like a brightening mask or like illuminating mask, I don't really get what it's doing like I feel like I could just put on moisturizer and it would do the same thing but I have some co-workers who have said this stuff's amazing so I'm excited to try and then these are two of my favorite products actually this is the ultra repair cream which is a extremely moisturizing product I use this on my face but you can use it on the rest of your body it is to hydrate dry patch skin and it's just like an intense therapy this is an awesome product for anyone who has eczema as well I had to like steal this back from my husband to show it in this video because he's been obsessed with this but this is the ultra repair lip therapy it repairs dry lips and it's petroleum free this stuff is so good if you guys have like super like just disgusting chapped lips like at the point where like you don't need just like a little lip balm to like make them nice and smooth like when they're actually chapped like they're actually cracking and like hurting and just need intense moisture this stuff's really really great it really actually gets deep down in the lips and moisturizes it from the core and just makes them super soft and i just love this stuff i swear it works wonders and i think this is like 12 dollars, so it's kind of an expensive like lip balm but if you live in like a really dry climate or just have really dry lips i think that this is a must have all right guys well that's it for this sephora work haul i hope you guys enjoy these types of videos definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of these products if you've tried them before or what products you think that you would be interested in I really love getting feedback from you guys on these types of videos because I never know like if you guys like to see them I love doing them and I love watching them but I just like hearing what you guys like to see thank you so much for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel I will have other links down below if you guys want to check me out on other social media I would greatly appreciate it and I will see y'all in a later video Mwah.